Let us look at an example program of garage shading. Here we have the GLSL vertex shader program. So we get V positions as an in variable in the qualifier in and we get the vertex normal also as in variable and our out variable is the per vertex color so colors of every vertex this would be passed down the pipeline to the rasterizer which will carry out the interpolation of the vertex colors now we have uniform variables coming from the application program which are the ambient product so this is the light material property so we've already performed the product of the light material inside the uh, application program we have the diffuse product and we have the specular product and these are all of type vector 4 we have the model view matrix the projection matrix we have the position of the light source and we have the shininess coefficient as a uniform float variable all these terms are computed in the cpp file now the main program of the glsl vertex shader is here first we transform the vertex position to the i coordinates so you multiply the V position, the vertex positions with the model view matrix, which is a four by four matrix. And after we have performed this matrix multiplication, we only take the X, Y, Z components and we put them in the three dimensional uh, vector po pause. Next, we calculate the light vector L by subtracting the vertex positions from the light source the XYZ components of the light source. Then we calculate the viewer vector, the V vector, by taking the negative of position. Now, we haven't written anything here because the camera is assumed to be at 0, 0, 0 at the origin. That's the default location of the camera. So 0, 0, 0 minus the position of the vectors uh, vertices gives us the V vector. And then we calculate the halfway vector, which is L plus V. And we normalize all these vectors so that we ensure that all these vectors are unit vectors which we require for our calculation. We also calculate the normals of all the vertices by converting the uh, V normal that we got from the application program to vector 4 by just concatenating 0, 0, 0 with it and then we multiply it with the model view matrix. So because the model view matrix is four by four and that's why we need to concatenate uh, a fourth element with, with the vertex normals. And once the multiplication is done, we just take back only the XYZ components and we put them into the normal vector. So proceeding with the uh, rest of the code of the main function of the GLSL vertex shader, we compute the terms in the illumination equation. So the ambient product, we just put it into the uh, ambient vector. Why do you assign these values to another vector? That's because the uh, ambient product is a uniform variable and we cannot change it uh, inside the shaders. Next, we calculate the diffuse component of the material properties by taking the max of the L dot N with zero. So it cannot be less than zero. We cannot have negative reflection. Then we calculate the diffuse component by multiplying this KD with the diffuse product. And next we calculate the shininess coefficient or the specular uh, part using the shininess coefficient beta and the dot product between N and H. And this is all this code is basically implementing our shading equation. So these are calculating, calculating these terms separately, the diffuse, the specular, and the uh, ambient. And now we have an if statement here, if the dot product of L uh, and N is less than zero, then 
we set the specular component to all zeros. And finally, we put the location of the vertices, which is the V position, we model, multiplied with the model view matrix, and then we multiplied with the projection matrix and put these values in the inbuilt variable of the uh, vertex shader. And this just passes down the pipeline. And the final color that is calculated is the ambient plus the diffuse plus the specular. So this addition is performed here. And we give it a uh, alpha value of one after performing these calculations. And this A is passed down the pipeline. Now, because we are performing per vertex shading, the fragment shader is a simple program that just assigns whatever color it receives as an invariable to the GL frag color 